Experts said Ron Sanderson would never excel in life when he was diagnosed with autism as a seven-year-old boy. Today, the author explains how he beat the odds and how others can as well. Good to have you with us, Ron. Well, thanks to be here again. Enjoyed your story uh, when you were with us last time, and uh, for our friends watching today, we'll, we'll have something on Facebook to kind of link to, to Ron's story. Uh, getting into the topic, though, today of A Parent's Guide to Autism, a great resource, and the message is, is so relevant for us today. One of the things you talk about is uh, being an advocate for your child. How can a parent be the best advocate they can be if they've got an autistic son or daughter? The best way is be like my mom, proactive. They wanted to put me in a classroom with kids with all different disabilities. My mom looked at the teacher and said, if Ron's put in this classroom, best he'll ever be as a dishwasher, best he'll ever be as a bagger, but he has these gifts. I'm gonna, I want him to interact with kids his own age. Proverbs. 2717 says it's iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. So take those gifts, get the child working with other children mm -hmm. who have gifts, and then help them refine those gifts. Mm -hmm. So, Ron, then you went on to graduate from high school and college, and correct? And college, yep, and get full ride the, for sports. Mm -hmm. And you got your Master's of Divinity from Oral Roberts University. You, you teach, uh, you're a professor of theology mm -hmm. uh, at, at Destiny School of Ministry now, and so. Uh, I don't know, it, your mom, is she, if she's still around, she must be very, very around, proud yeah. of, of what you've become and, and the work, the hard work that she invested in you all throughout your life. Uh, real quickly, you talk about also uh, reassuring or redefining your child's self-esteem. So for a child who is autistic, uh, what can a parent do to help create that, that sense of self-esteem within them? The two main things you can do is praise and acceptance. Mm -hmm. Let them know that they're loved by God. Let them know that they're loved by you. And let them know that even their small accomplishments can become great accomplishments. Charles Spurgeon said, by perseverance, a snail made on the ark. I like to say, no matter how <laughs> slow your kid may be, neurologically, physically, if they keep moving, they'll get they'll on that it. ark. They'll make it. You say yeah. that this is a practical guide and with biblical wisdom. Where do you go into the scriptures to, what do you send parents who are parents of autistic children when they talk about why this has happened to me? I have them look at um, the idea that even though we go through suffering in life, even though we go through trials, that God is there with us and God gives us the strength. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But there's another translation, I can endure all things through Christ which strengthens me. Mm -hmm. And I think that God gives us the endurance to make it, to be able, and he gives us the Holy Spirit to guide us. Mm -hmm. And those are two of the main principles that I bring out. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, you also talk a lot of stories from, from the heart. Uh, what's one story right now that uh, really helped you along the way and, and can help others? One of the main stories that um, really helped me is the story of Alexis Weinman. And she's Miss Montana 2012, and she had Asperger's. And um, her parents were always told all the things she can't do. Mm. And yet, with her mom, Kimberly, help, and her last name's Butterworth, which I love. Um, that's her mom's maiden last name, which I love. So she was Mrs. Buttersworth's help, <laughs> but not the pancake lady. She was able to um, just excel in life and do all these amazing things and be a great advocate mm -hmm. for the autism community. And that one really touched my heart. Mm. I watched Miss Montana when she, I think she made like the top 12 or something in that Miss America pageant. I watched that. You talk about parenting perseverance. I mean, you don't have to have a child with autism to be a persevering mm -hmm. parent. Um, just, we can never stress that enough. Just kind of talk about that. All right, one of my favorite quotes that I use that I came up with is there's no atheist in foxholes. Right. And there's no atheist when your kid with autism is learning how to drive either on the highway <laughs> or um, anywhere else nearby. And I think that it's a real challenge. Yeah. You look at um, all the things that are tough and they have to persevere to learn, just communication. I had to go through intense speech therapy. My brother Chuck bragged to his friends, my brother's unique. He's from Norway. He speaks Norwegian because my language is so out there and far, beyond, or far mm -hmm. behind mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, 
for someone watching today, a, a mom, a dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, or uncle, and, and they've got a, a child who's uh, being diagnosed with autism early on, say, uh, you know, the, the, the prognosis and, and the, the kind of the, the outlook usually isn't all that bright. What mm -hmm. would you say to them to encourage them today to stick with it and to, to find some help? How can they find some help? First, die to your dream of the child mm -hmm. and take the dream that God's given you and, and work with the child and also get them right away involved in ABA therapy. And if the speech is behind, speech um, therapy mm -hmm. and then work and don't try and get them into your world. Try to enter their world and help lead them out and be able to use those gifts. Wow, that's, that's pretty profound. Thank you so much, Ron. Ron Thanks. Sanderson, our guest today here on The Harvest Show. To connect with Ron, you can go to spectruminclusion.com or as always, go to our website, harvest-tv.com. You'll find an easy way to link back to his site and to uh, take a look at A Parent's Guide to Autism for Yourself. Stay with us, a lot more to come on today's program.